what is up what is good what's popping all my wonderful amazing kings and queens out there brothers and sisters how you living um if you don't know now you know it is me Hershey they Tyler Renee over here from the mommy and the Chanel now if you saw that title and that thumbnail you should know you are now officially entering the royalty room where we talk discuss and read Good Checked by most likely POC authors, aka people of color authors. And today, the Royal Table Club and the Royalty Room here on I'm in the Royal's channel will be reviewing Jasby's My Love Against the Streets. Let's go. Okay, now y'all, let's discuss. Because, you know, girl got thoughts. And I know I was supposed to be going, uh, if you don't know. I know, if you don't know, um, I do IG, IG talks at least once a week over the book that we are reading as a book club. But your girl tends to get a little sidetracked when it comes to reading because... Once you start, you just can't put them down. It's like eating a, a Pringle. Once you read one book, you can't not read the second or the third or the fourth. Spoiler alert, you girl read 22 books this month. Eh, that's not what we're here for though. That'll be next week. But this Sunday, we'll be discussing My Love Gets the Streets by the Arthur Jazz B. Because your girl is bouncing with anticipation. Because, bitch, I have thoughts, okay? Now. I did one IG talk over this book. And in that book, I did, I, you know, we came up, this would be slight spoilers real quick, just so you know. I discussed how in the very beginning of the book, Ice and Marley were seen shooting at Troy and Nessie. Uh, slight spoilers, but if you have not read the book, you wanna know what I'm talking about. So, link down below in the description. Of course. Um, so, and then, you know, my mind ain't right. Uh, I'm crazy as fuck, but, uh, I asked several others, that several being my four or five, other people, like, cause I finished it, I did, I finished just like, maybe last week, and I just want to know, like, am I tripping, or was it not, or was it not Ice and Marley, we saw shooting, well, Nessie saw, aka we, because we'll get into the right in a minute. Um, we saw a mother Ice and Molly. Let's just keep it at that. And then it turned out not to be Ice and Molly. It's goddamn me, Iman, and Egypt. Pause. If you have not read the book and you're reading it or plan on reading it, spoiler alert. And I'm like, I mean, not really, not really a spoiler alert because we knew that, that bitch Egypt won shit. But, um, so. This is my only issue with the book. Except for how the paint. The chapters were extremely long. And y'all know I don't, I can't deal or focus on a chapter that's longer than 10 to 15 pages. But because the author Jazz B, the queen, my good sis, um, <clears throat> writes the way she does. Once I really picked this book up, I was done with it in about two and a half hours. Because by the time I was done with this book, my kids was coming home. So yeah, I say about two and a half hours, okay? And every book I pick up from her is like that. So most books from Jasby snatches me in the beginning. This book snatched me in the beginning. Because bitch, I wanna know. I wanna know why Ice and Marley is shooting at us. We supposed to be homies, okay? And so I'm like, if you caught my IG talk, I'm like. I know this nigga did not snitch. If you know, you know. That means you read the book. Comment down below. Let's talk. Um, I know this nigga did not snitch. Five years ain't shit. I know he ain't snitch. Because that, to me, will be the only reason I'm coming at a nigga. Unless he coming from a family. That's, you know, top. But that'll be the only reason I'm coming for you. And that's because, even though you're not physically coming from my family, for you to snitch on me, 
knowing we boys, knowing about that going on, knowing my situation, knowing my mama and them and all that, and for you to snitch on me and take me away from my people, bitch, you did. Period. And if y'all don't like my tongue, I'm sorry. If you're new here, I curse a hell of a lot. My bad. <clears throat> um, but so I was like, okay, did Troy snitch? Five years, not shit. Bro could have did that. But turns out, no, he didn't snitch. And it wasn't Ice and Marley that we thought we saw. That is the only reason I put this book down four stars. Um, it was going to have, but the goddamn chapters was just so fucking long. Um, but the writing, again, every time I feel like I am who we are reading about. I felt like I was nasty when I used to while I was shooting, which is why I keep saying I saw, I saw, because at this point in time, I am her. Because the way this author writes, she doesn't just pull you in. She makes you become the character. You know what I'm saying? So, mm, ah, perfect. Um, The story, bitch, it was so convolution. So much drama, so much motherfucking juice. Ah, ah. Let's get into it. Character by character. I love all of these motherfuckers, but all y'all ass got to hear me. Jasmine, sis, you know we love you, but motherfuckers gotta hear my voice. I need to have my my foot in some of these motherfuckers' asses, okay? Starting with just because y'all on my brain. Ice and Q. Cause Marley is with you. If I'm not right, I'm not right. But you know what I'm talking about if you don't get the motherfucker up. Actually, I'm going to start with Troy and Nessie because it's y'all fault. Well, not yours, Nessie, not really, but Troy, it's y'all fucking fault. You messed up everything. And then after you mess up, you don't go back and get your motherfucking blood, nigga. You don't go back. You let motherfuckers that shot you ended your dream continue to walk around and continue to come at y'all until motherfuckers think y'all dead. No. No. You didn't have to end up in jail. You didn't have to get shot. Nigga, when motherfuckers walk up, you shoot. Period. Period. And this goes, well, I don't want to say it goes for anybody, but this is fictional. Nigga, you got beef with these things in the street. Y'all outside, you better, and it's broad daylight, you better rock a bye, baby, that ass. Shout out to New Jack City. But fuck it, you a drug dealer. You end up in jail any motherfucking way. So for you to end up getting shot for not shooting because you didn't want to go to jail, but you end up in jail anyway because you got shot? Come the fuck on. Come on. <sighs> Nessie, sis. Nessie, Nessie, Nessie. I can't really blame my good sis Nessie. I really hope that's the one I'm talking about, child, because I think it is. Uh, I can't really blame Nessie because I personally wasn't getting slime ball vibes from mine, even though we really, we really didn't get as much of Iman as we did get of Egypt, which. I knew from the rip that bitch wasn't shit. I thought she was a fed, but she's much worse. Um, so I can't really blame it. Nessie for getting with him, even though he is an op. I didn't know. So she, she you can't, you, you didn't have to know either, baby. It's okay. And I don't blame you for leaving Troy ass because you're not going to keep pushing me away and expect me to keep standing up kissing your ass. You good, sis. You the only one that's not on my head list. But that them, them two bitch friends of yours. Crazy one and crazy two. Crazy one. I'm not going to use names because I get them mixed up, obviously. But crazy one. I call her crazy one because, bitch, you're crazy. You're the one person that I would not allow in my friend group. Just based off how you are with your man. So, 
I think it's not Q. Jewel is with Mark. Isis. Ice. Whoever Ice is with, that bitch crazy. I don't fuck with her. She and it's not because she's untrustworthy or any of that. She cool people. I did have sympathy for her at one point in this book, but at the same time, since everything that has gone wrong in your life is on you. Because bitch, you crazy. Um so Isis girl. Isis girl, Ice is one of Troy homeboys who did not finish school. He has a daughter and a baby mama and no he needs streets. No. Him and his girl, don't know the name, I get it mixed up obviously, or together, right? But this bitch, this bitch has an issue with him and his baby mama. She has the issue that he she calls him that she calls Ice. She has the issue that when she calls, Ice comes. She has the issue that Ice has her door key. You nasty trifling bitch. Oh. Maybe I'm reflecting. Maybe I'm reflecting because as a baby mama who does not want anything to do with the baby daddy and I constantly have to deal with stupid ass bitches that think I want that nigga. Bitch, you stupid. <laughs> bitch, you're stupid. Because first off, she's not going anywhere. Second off, he's a good ass man, good ass daddy, good ass baby daddy bitch. It's not like you walked in on him fucking his baby mama one day and now they're talking about together you just can't trust him. No bitch, you just nuts. I think she's the one that had the mama that abandoned her. But if she, it was not even, cause I think it's Q. Cause you have a lot of shit going on. My, oh my God, that's when I feel really sorry for her. I don't know. No, Morley is with Q because Q was the one that was single, I think, and she was a stripper. Ah, let me stop. But, whatever. Ice, nigga, found you in a bitch. I know you've been in love with this girl since y'all was, you know, me hot to a butterfly, but she gotta go. She crazy. She crazy. But, uh, yeah. Um, so, we got them. We got this bitch extra crazy. We got Troy being stupid. We got Nessie being there. And then we got Marley and Jewel. She's the on one name that I'm not sure that's really in this book, but I'm pretty sure it's Jewel. J the E W E L. Because I remember seeing it in cursive. Don't mind me, Jamma my name. Right. Now, Jewel and Marley. Jewel and Marley. Or oh, is it Q and Marley? Somebody. Q. I'm going to just go to Q. I'm going to do these separately. Q. My goodness is that's a lot of issues. I feel sorry for her because we ended up seeing where her issues came from, where her trust issues and her jealousy came from. Now, if this is Marley, if this, if this is Ice Girl, this, this is the crazy bitch I was just talking about, I'll give up. So, if it's not because I get it messed up, because there's a lot of fucking writing, y'all let me know. But I feel sorry for her. She was a stripper. Um, Marley was really the only one there for her, her him and the crew, and she didn't really have nobody to go back to, and she couldn't fuck with Marley because he, Marley, was fucking with Egypt. Now, they almost got together after he stopped her from being raped, but of course his bitch had to come in. Child. And that's the same bitch that's a fucking op. Now, Marley. I'm gonna give it to you like I gave it to your boy Troy. Like I gave it to, like I gave it to Isis, bitch. You stupid. You're stupid. You're dumb. You out your motherfucking mind. You're sleeping with the op like that like you don't fucking know. When you keep saying, oh, uh, whoever keeps saying, oh, this bitch the op. She really looking at whatever we doing. Ugh. You knew from the jump. And then the bitch keep going in my A. And <coughs> got phone calls. Not even your phone calls for weeks at a time. Like, what the fuck do you think she doing? She either cheating on you. Setting you up on some federal hood shit, or the bitch is an op. Maybe he just needed love that much, and his old girl wasn't, you know, cute. I think was it giving it to him like he wanted to, so he just went for the next bitch that you know came running to him, which was Egypt's. Okay, but then time jump, the bitch stayed around for five years. 
She stayed around for five years and you knew from five years ago that she was an op. Which is why I'm blaming you, which is why this is all your fault. Even though Troy stole all this shit by not killing her but when he should've. This is your motherfucking mom, nigga. This is your fault. You got this bitch in your bed and shit. God damn it. <sighs> Pillow talk is a bitch. Pillow talk is a bitch, y'all. Anyway. Time jumped to five years later. Troy's getting out of jail. Um, now this is how I love she used the time jump perfectly. I cannot stand when the time jump is just the time jump or time jump sake. When nothing happens that you had to at all move around in time. We could just you know do it did it linearly. This here did it perfectly. She did one of my favorite tropes and she did it twice. The secret baby trope, which is one of the only reasons. One of, I didn't say only, one of the only reasons that you should do a time jump is if there is a secret baby trope within the story. And this shit was hot. Now, the time jump was handled perfectly. Um, We have babies that's now five. We have bitches that didn't love because they can't deal with their niggas. We have new relationships, old relationships. Perfect time jump. Starting with Nessie. Nessie is now with Iman, who I feel like she didn't give us a lot on on purpose because with the time jump, she was just with him. You know what I'm saying? She Nessie herself told us a lot about him, but we didn't get much. You know what I'm saying? Which is why it really was like, damn, y'all really you really got me when Iman was one of the ops too. And I was like, what? Yeah. I'm like, okay. Maybe we don't supposed to be with Troy. Maybe we're supposed to be with Iman. You know what I'm saying? You know, switch it up a little bit. But no, that nigga was the ops though. I can't blame her. Like I blame Marley, but whatever. And come to find out, she Troy don't know. Because, you know, he was in jail for five years. Troy don't know that um, he got a baby. Now, do I agree with Nessie not telling Troy about Taj? Yes and no, because yes, I know because that's a man. That's his son. A man know their child. At least have, give him the option to know their child. But in my mind, I'm in Nessie mind because she said exactly what I was thinking. You couldn't deal with losing me while you was in her. You couldn't deal with me being out here while you were in her for five years. You know what I'm saying? So... How much more stress would that put on you if I tell you I'm having a baby and you're not here? You know what I'm saying? And that could fuck with a nigga mind while he's in jail. Like, five years of your child's life that you ain't been a part of. Whether or not you know him or not, you still not there. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't really blame her about that. And I'm really happy that, I'm really happy with the way that Troy ended up approaching the situation with Iman and with Nancy, very good, very clean. Did not think it was gonna happen because Troy is kind of slow sometimes and stupid, but he handled that very well. He wrote this man should. Um, Jewel, I think, got Isis' son, I mean, Isis' child, and she's off. She she said, fuck it, I'm gone because, oh, and Isis, I don't know about the baby either. Secret baby trope. Um, because she told him, but she was born, she was, you know, isn't it in on him, right? And she was talking about having a baby. And now, I low key, this is just me, let me know what y'all think. I low key think she got pregnant on purpose just to be with Therese. Because she strikes me as a damn bitch. She's crazy as fuck. Um, but She's still talking to him about having a baby. He's like, he don't want a baby right now. We gotta get our shit together. Niggas is coming at our head. Troy is going to jail. Let's not do this right now. Let me get my paper up. Let me get the shit right in the streets, baby. And then we can, I can do, give you whatever you want. <sighs> Jewel being Jewel. Jewel being stupid and crazy. She was the only one, again, that I did not really like. Shh, don't tell Jaspie. Um, but I didn't really like her. Um, so, she then goes... Next day or whatever, different time. She tells Ice that she's pregnant. And he said, I guess, like, something like, we talked about this, blah, blah, blah. She did not, he was not happy about it. He was not overjoyed because 
I feel you, bro. You already said what you said. She knows how you feel about this baby thing, whatever, right? But at the same time, but at the same time, I understand how Jewel feels, even though this crazy bitch. But she has to understand. She has to understand how he feels, and I don't feel like she took any of that into consideration. Did I was I pulling for her to have an abortion? No, I was not. I love me a secret baby, but. Again, I feel like she purposely got pregnant to compete with Trees, knowing that I did not want a baby at the time, even though she was there her fucking self. And so was going down. She tried she shot Troy, get child. She tried Troy, go to jail. She knows they keep getting robbed and shit like that. And you want to bring a baby into a such a dangerous situation. That is all he was saying. But she says, I have an appointment, I'm going to have an abortion and leaves and does not come back so bitch again you're wrong because when you decided not to have the abortion first off you did not wait for his response to you have an abortion this is a group fucking effort i'm having an abortion okay cool no nah, don't do that i mean like that was five seconds a five second conversation. That's all I needed to have. But she didn't have that. I'm having an abortion. I already made the appointment. I'm gone. She leaves, doesn't get the abortion, doesn't tell ICE. Gives the man no choice, no option, no chance, no nothing. I think I really like ICE. Because I'm not the fitting this nigga up and fucking down. But she, he goes to snatch up an old lady that's no longer getting a game. Because Cass, Loki, I thought Cass was dirty. I thought he was an op, but he wasn't. So, oh, and I love the mamas. I love Auntie Dot and Chili Mama. Like, I love them. I love little little ladies. They're so cute. They so fuck. They so fire. They fight motherfuckers and shit. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> Ice gets put on a task. This is right after they got um. Robbed and there's a lot of shit going on, and they was looking for I think oh boy that shot Troy, who keep sending niggas after him, even though he's hiding out, he's still sending niggas to you know get killed and shit. So Cass sends them to you know real quick. I got somebody that y'all should know. Go grab her up. She got the game, but tell this for me. And he ends up going to whatever city, state, country, whatever that jewel was they end up in the same store boom bam so she of course is coming back because you know ice ain't playing that shit and so now the whole crew is together because troy's out of jail and then my issue which made it four and a half stars we get to the beginning the beginning the end, or middle, because it wasn't the end, the middle part was supposed to bring us full circle to the beginning. And again, I don't know if it was an error in the book. I don't know if it was her trying to play on my on me and my intelligence, because I'm already crazy and paranoid. Don't do that, sis. I've been thinking I'm wrong anyway. But I reread it, and then I talked to, again, four or five people about it. And they said that it was Troy. I mean, that it was Ice. And Marley in the car for the first time in the beginning. So it did not come full circle. I don't know what the hell happened. I'm gonna have to, I'm going to Jazz B, if you're watching this, I'm going to IG call you so you can tell me what 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 was it? That's what I need you to tell me. I need you to tell me what 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 what, what was it? What was it? That's what I need you to tell me. Cause I think I need to know because my mind's gonna be fucking with this shit all night. So, boom, boom, boom. Nessie, Troy, dead. Bam. Funeral. Bam. Auntie Dot and them. Bam. Everybody's sad. Comes out to this Iman in Egypt. That daddy is a kingpin. And shit is about to go down. Because Marley or Ice then killed her sister. We ran into the sister. We, um, I think Ice ran into the sister. When he was uh out somewhere and he saw Egypt 
and he's running into the system. Then he end up shooting that bitch in the head execution style. And now everybody mad because y'all sent the sister in Egypt and Im Iman to do some gutter crazy shit. And y'all mad the bitch got shot. Whose fault is this? Whoever sent them all out. Because they all end up getting. So, daddy, I'm blaming you. Um, I, too. Uh, when the twist came, I low-key felt it. I was like, oh, wow. Because in the end of the chapter, when I ended up getting lit the fuck up, we just jumped to the funeral. So I was like, hmm. But I was like, okay, they did. I'm sad. But then I was like, yeah, I'm happy. So in the end, they handled that, and we all are cool and happy and together. And Egypt is dead, so Marley can be with Jewel. And Ice, no. So Morley can be with Q, and Ice can be with a uh, crazy bitch, and Q end up overcoming, end up ended up overcoming her trauma. She talked to her mama that abandoned her, and she hopes she's getting some mental therapy help because it's a lot that she has. It's a it's a wall, and it's a lot that she has going on in her life in her head that isn't really there, sis. And I think she needs help. <laughs> With that being said, y'all, four and a half stars. This book was amazing. Um, I recommend that you read this book. Um, I did give a few spoilers in this video, but again, if you did not read the book, you won't know what the hell I'm talking about. So read the book. Be so be sure to visit the description box below where you will find all of this month's reads. Um, not the 22 that I read, but the four or five that we were reading together as a Royalty Book Club, as well as a Royalty Book Club IG, where I go at least once a week, where I go to upload polls, where you can vote on, as well as I go to IG talk to the folks, because I'll be having thoughts on these books, and I can't be doing a full video like this, so I'm pretty sure this video is going to be 30 minutes long, but I really enjoyed this one. Um, if you guys have read the book, please be sure to review the book. It takes no time at all. I Authors don't really like me. I just give the, the the book stars. They love it when you give a when you give feedback. But if you don't have the time, sis, give them a few stars. Let them know how you feel. And then go back. But do not forget to review the book. You're doing this. If you're reading this on Kindle Unlimited, you are reading it for free. Except for that, you know, $9.99 monthly. But you're reading it for free. Somebody put their hard, hard work, blood, sweat, and tears into this book. The least you could do is review it. If you like to be featured here as well as on IG, please be sure to screenshot and send me your reviews. And I will be sure to post you and tag you as well as the author. So, with that being said, y'all. Let me know what you guys thought about this book, My Love Gets the Streets, about the author test B, as well as if you are reading it or if you have read it or not. If and of course, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not yet. Um, yeah. See you for the wrap up. Mwah. Peace, love, positive vibes, y'all. Jazz, I'm finna call you. <laughs>